Hi, uh, this tutorial is about concentric circles method, construction of ellipse by using concentric circles method. In the ellipse construction, this is one of the easiest technique. So let us see this today. Uh, when you open the AutoCAD, this is how it will be looking like. This is AutoCAD 2022. In this, first what we will do is that we will give the limits, we will set the limits. The command is limits. Enter. Once it is given, it will ask us specify lower left corner that is 0, 0 and specify upper right corner which can be as per your requirement. Here I am giving 500, 500. It's enough. Then we will specify the units. 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 Enter. In this, we have to see that the insertion scale is in millimeters only. Here it is in millimeters, so again I am keeping it in millimeters and I am pressing OK. Then uh, we can press Z, enter and A, enter, so that whatever the screen is there, it is as of your dimensions, that is uh, your limits is perfectly given to all the dimensions. Now the question is concentric circles method where the dimensions are 120 mm and 100 mm. This is major axis and minor axis. You know that major axis and minor axis are perpendicular to each other. For that sake, let us draw a line. So we will select the line command by using in the draw toolbar or else we can press L and you can press enter. Take some random point on the screen and from there you can drag it. It is coming within some angle. So I don't want to have the angle. For that sake, I can press F8. F8. F8 I can press or I can press ortho button here. Ortho mode is there now here. I can press this. So once this is pressed, we can see that it is only uh, traveling in either 0 degrees or 90 degrees or 180 degrees or 2 degrees. So I will drag it in the 0 degrees and I will press 120 mm and escape. I am coming out of the command. So this is your 120 mm line. And next, I will draw another line, another line, which is exactly perpendicular to this, that is a 100 mm line. So, I am keeping it in 90 degrees angle and I am pressing 100 and press enter. Escape. After this, what we can do is that we can use the move command. We can use the move command. This is the move command, M enter. And we will select the object and press enter. And we will indicate the, we will select the midpoint of this. And from that midpoint to the midpoint of the other line, we'll keep it here. so that your major axis and minor axis are is uh, there here. Now what we'll do is that we'll take circle command. We'll take circle command, and in the circle command, we'll take the center point as the midpoint, and we'll draw two circles with one as the diameter of a, a minor axis, and we'll take another circle. Again, midpoint as center, another circle with 120 as diameter, that is your major axis. So now we can see that I have drawn two straight lines which are perpendicular to each other. One is 120 mm, one is 120 mm. I can give the dimensions here directly if you want. You can see this is 120 mm. In the same way, I can give the dimensions here. This is 100 mm. So 120 mm and 100 mm are given. So I don't want these to be coming in part of my diagrams I am removing them. Once this is finished, now what I will do is that I will draw a straight line and draw a straight line from here to here that is midpoint of the center to the end point of the major axis and escape. Now I will use the polar array, I will use the polar array which is there in the modify toolbar polar array and I will select the whatever the drawn present drawn line is there that time I will select. I can directly go and click on it or else I can take right selection like this, which will be selecting only one line. You can see here, only one line is selected because only that one is totally present inside. So I'll select that and I'll use more polar array and I'll select this one as mid and center point. So I'll take the midpoint as the center point. And uh, here you can see in the items is six, you know, instead of six, I'll press 12 items. That one and press enter. You can see that the the circles, whatever the circles are there, those are divided into 12 equal parts. Then I have pressed closed area with that 12 equal parts. After. Now we can name them. We can name for naming them. What should I press? MT. MT. 
and press enter. I can write, I can select some random box like this and press enter, uh, remove the click button. Then you can see that the annotations toolbar is updated. In the annotation toolbar, it is 2.5 is there. I don't want it to be 2.5, I want something like 4. Then I'll press 4 and I'll press enter. After this, I'll write the letter here. Supposingly, as per the given question, AB is the major axis and minor axis is CD. The same thing I'll be using here. So this is A, then press close text editor. So I'll select this and I'll move a little bit nearer so that it will look good to me. So A and finished. Then I can directly use this, copy it. And I from base point this to here, I can press it and escape and I can double click on this and delete it and I can press B and press close so A B is finished or else I can directly click on this I'll use control C and control V that is basic uh, copy and paste button I can randomly uh, se uh, select and paste wherever I after that I can edit their names as name says this is C and this is this is D, A, B, C, D, major axis and minor axis, but this is, should be here because this is your C, because major axis and minor axis, we are talking about major axis and minor axis, so therefore, uh, the points will be this and this, you can see this is C and this is D. Now, now what you can do, all the outer part of the points obtained on the outer circle can be given one name. And inner points will be given another name. Something like, something like this is, this is one, this is one. Then this becomes one dash. This becomes one dash. So one one dash two two dash three three dash four four dash five five dash six six dash seven seven dash eight eight dash nine nine dash ten ten dash eleven eleven dash and twelve twelve dash. In that way, you'll get it. So I can uh, we can uh, type it and uh, re re rename it for uh, my con uh, con for my easiness sake. I'm just keeping the one number only there so that the diagram will be finished to me easily. But if any if you want to see that it looks good, we have to write this all or we have to edit this all perfectly. Only then the perfection will be correctly good. Now you can see that I am. Uh, keeping all those things perfectly in the same way i can even uh, use the one dash this one becomes two dash this becomes three dash this becomes four dash this becomes five dash this becomes six dash this becomes seven dash this becomes eight dash this becomes nine dash this becomes ten dash this becomes eleven dash this becomes 12 dash. Now, what we will do is that get all the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is non dash options. What are the letters there? That is the outer circle points. We draw vertical lines. We draw vertical lines. Length is not necessary for you. We will draw some vertical line like this. If the vertical line is not coming straight, what do you have to press? We have to press ortho mode on. So, ortho mode is on, and here this straight line which I have drawn. In the same way, I can draw, draw at different other locations also, something like this, in this way, I can draw, I can draw vertical lines in the outer part, see, from 1 and 2, I have drawn the, uh, these things, from 1 and 2, I have drawn this, uh, um, uh, vertical lines, now, whatever the internal points are there, that is, uh, that is, uh, 2, 1 dash and 2 dash, at those points, that is on the internal circle, on the minor axis circle, we'll draw horizontal lines until the uh, drawn vertical line. So we can draw like this, escape. Again, draw like this, escape. Then whatever the unnecessary things are there, I can trim them. I can trim them. It depends upon our requirement. It's not necessary that we need to trim. I am trimming it so that it looks good to me. So now, after this is finished, whatever the obtained points are there, that is this point and this point, whatever the obtained points are there, those points can be named as, can be named as T1, T1, 
and the same way this becomes p2 this becomes p2 because it is obtained by 2 and 2 dash i am keeping the name as p2 in this way now what we will do is that we will take polyline we will take polyline and we will join b p1 p2 and c we will join b p1 p2 and c by using a polyline but it is like a polyline and it is not a curve for making it curve the command is pe pe enter once the polyline command is finished then i'll select on the polyline and it will give me these options that is fit i'll select fit therefore after that i'll press escape you can see the curvature has been obtained instead of a straight line it is not visible to me perfectly so therefore what i'll do is that i'll select this line and i'll give some line weight to it so that it looks so a little bit bigger to me even after adding some line weight also i'm not going to see it for that sake what you should see we should see that the lw display is on so here lw display is on once the lw display is on you can see that it is i can even change the color randomly yes. but only one fourth of the diagram is finished what about the remaining other things for that sake we have the command called mirror we have the command called mirror we'll use mirror command we'll select this and press enter and we'll select the axis as the same this therefore you can see mirror select the object and press enter the axis as minor axis yes therefore on the side is the side it has to. now again select a mirror command select both these curves and press enter again use uh, instead of minor axis we'll use major axis now as the axis so here it is finished uh, with this the ellipse is finished so this is how you create an ellipse by using the uh, concentric circles method in some cases they will be asking you to construct an ellipse vertically construct an ellipse vertically then what we have to do is that we have to uh, after drawing it becomes in a instead of this horizontal ellipse we will have vertical ellipse something like it will look like this i'll show that one also uh, it will be something looking like uh, like this see this is a vertical ellipse this is a vertical ellipse so depending upon the requirement you can uh, use the lines or the connections or else you can draw this by using the same method and after that we can rotate it so depending upon your requirement you should you should draw these things once this is finished what you will do we have to write it because here the annotations are not given perfectly therefore dimensions should be given what are the question thing is there the questions we have major axis is 120 and minor axis is 100 so information is about lines therefore we should give the information about lines only that is a and b 120 mm in the same way dimensions c and d this is 100 mm. these two should be shown along with this we should also write we should also write what is the information regarding this diagram that is see after opening the multi text command what i am doing is that i am checking the height everything is in 4 now i will check it 5 now and press enter and type whatever the information is there whatever the information is there i can type it directly from the question now so whatever the there in the question i am copying it and here i am pasting it and press close text editor so here the information is written it's looking small now we can change it by using zoom extends like this it is looking odd therefore what i'll do i'll, I'll drag it like this and i'll keep it like this so that information is perfectly shown to me. again use zoom extends so that it is showing to your total screen so this is the diagram so in this way you can finish concentric circles construction of helps okay thank you